All these giants are made of sarsen, a local sandstone harder than granite. Yet they were carved and fitted like woodwork. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most intriguing archaeological discoveries whose true origins and or purpose continue to elude experts. And then suddenly you look and, and you look and you see that they're tiny Greek characters engraved into, into the actual metal itself. Number 10, the Voynich Manuscript. Go to Yale University and you will find the utterly mysterious Voynich Manuscript, which is, well, no one really knows what it is. It's the world's most mysterious book, written by an unknown author. Even the best code breakers have shrugged their shoulders in exasperation. The manuscript is named after Wilfred Voynich, a lover of old books who purchased it from the Roman College. Voynich bought the manuscript and tried to decipher it for the rest of his life. While the book was later dated to the early 15th century, it didn't appear in written records until the 1600s, leaving its first 200 years of existence shrouded in mystery. No one knows who wrote it, what it means, or even where it came from. We think it's Italian, but no one really knows for sure. For the time being, the Voynich manuscript remains what it has been for the last 600 years. It's a hall of mirrors reflecting each researcher's own imagination. Number nine, the tomb of the first Qin emperor. The mausoleum of Chinese ruler Qin Shi Huang is best known for being the site of the Terracotta Army, the massive assembly of stone soldiers constructed to symbolically guard the emperor after his death. He ordered his real army to be recreated in clay and buried with him ready to fight his battles in the afterlife. While much excavation has been done at this site after its discovery in 1974, strangely, the emperor's tomb itself remains untouched. There are ancient tales of various traps installed to kill anyone who attempts to enter the tomb, as well as streams of mercury designed to imitate China's water systems, which pose their own threat to modern researchers. To date, the site is still unexcavated due to dangerously high levels of mercury. While we can't say for sure that all of these claims are accurate, what we do know is that whatever is contained in Qin Shi Huang's tomb is a mystery. Number eight, the Dikis spheres. Human ingenuity never ceases to amaze. Found in Costa Rica are the bolas de piedra, or quite simply, stone balls. These perfectly spherical stones are primarily made of a rock called gabbro and vary in size, with the biggest measuring over six feet in diameter and weighing 15 tons. To date, over 300 stone spheres have been found at archeological sites across the region. It's also widely believed that the stones were made by a pre-Columbian culture called the Diquis, hence the name Diquis spheres. Unfortunately, we still don't know why these stones were made. They could be related to astronomy. They could have been used to decorate processional walkways. Unfortunately, could-bes are all we have to go on, as the Dikis are no longer around. So the great mystery with the stone balls really is what their purpose was. Number seven, Goblique Tepe. We return to the Middle East for Goblique Tepe, an enormous site found in southern Turkey. The site of Gobekli Tepe is a series of circular enclosures. Turkish for Potbelly Hill, Goblike Tepe is known for its circular pits and richly decorated megaliths, which contain beautiful animal reliefs. And despite its enormous size, experts theorize that we've only seen 5% of its total area. But why such a monumental site was built in the first place remains a mystery. Gublike Tepe dates back to around 9,500 BCE and is found at the top of a mountain, leading some to believe that it was a sanctuary used by nomadic tribes of hunter-gatherers. But evidence of houses and complex water systems also suggest that it was a permanent settlement. Maybe the answers lie in the 95% we haven't seen. Is it possible that primitive hunter-gatherers could have built such sophisticated megalithic structures. Number six, the Copper Scroll. Few archeological finds are as important to religion as the Dead Sea Scrolls. These were found in the Qumran Caves in the Judean Desert and are primarily ancient biblical manuscripts. But one scroll stands out from the rest, and that is the Copper Scroll. But joined together, 
they form a single copper scroll. Whereas the others were written on papyrus and parchment, this one was etched on, uh, well, you can probably guess. It also employs a different style of language and writing and was etched much later than most of the other scrolls. Most importantly, it is not religious in nature. Could these brittle fragments of corroded metal hold the clues to finding ancient buried gold? Rather, it explains the hidden locations of buried gold and silver. No one knows whose treasure it is, and unfortunately, none of it has ever been located. Someone call Indiana Jones. When they found out what it was, the newspapers carried it all over the world. Number five, the Moai. While they're found on a tiny island in the massive Pacific Ocean, the Moai have become one of the world's most popular images. These are the enormous stone figures found on Easter Island, and they were built by the indigenous population between 1250 and 1500. Archaeologists believe that the Rapa Nui people built these statues to represent ancient, deified ancestors. But the biggest mystery surrounding the Moai is how they were moved. Were these figures made in such a way that they could be moved standing upright? Some theorize that they were rolled on logs, while others believe that they were walked to their destination using ropes and a rocking motion. The latter theory is the current favorite amongst archaeologists, but it is far from definite. It must have been an amazing sight to see these things, especially, you know, the taller ones moving. Number four, the Nazca Lines. While they were recorded back in the 16th century, the Nazca Lines weren't seriously studied until the 1940s, when an American historian named Paul Kosak spotted them in the Peruvian desert. They lie neglected for more than a thousand years and aren't rediscovered until the era of the airplane. These lines vary greatly in size and design, with some being simple geometric shapes, while others present realistic drawings of animals, humans, and fauna. The designs are really only clear when viewed from a great height. The strange markings become known as the Nazca Lines. These lines were made by making a five-inch divot in the topsoil, thereby revealing the different colored subsoil underneath. But we don't know why they were made. They could have astronomical significance, or they could be related to water collection, or even be of a spiritual nature to be viewed by the culture's deities. And for a hundred years now, ever since Cespi first spotted them, they've been a mystery. The Antikythera Mechanism. There are lots of mysteries surrounding the Antikythera Mechanism. Then remarkably, researchers noticed tiny gear wheels in the machine. Found in a shipwreck in 1901, it's believed to be an astronomical calendar that predicted eclipses and the orbit of the moon. But there are many things we do not know. Its date of construction has not been definitively proven, with years ranging from 205 BCE to 87 BCE. It was built 2,000 years ago in ancient Greece. We're also not sure if it's even complete, as some believe that pieces are missing. Furthermore, we don't really know who made it. And therein leads to the most intriguing mystery. A computer of this complexity was not seen again until the 14th century, roughly 1,500 years after the device was made. So how did its makers have such vast know-how in regards to engineering? Much later, the Antikythera mechanism, to the amazement of scientists, would be revealed as the world's first computer. Number two, the Great Pyramids. It's amazing that the Great Pyramids have been around for almost 5,000 years and we're still figuring out how they were built. The Great Pyramid was one of the first true pyramids ever built. The oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, they are the only ones still standing. It's now thought that the laborers who built them were paid locals rather than slaves. The stone blocks, which averaged about 2.5 tons, may have been transported from quarries on sledges and dragged across sand that had been wet with water. The Great Pyramid is equivalent to the Empire State Building of its day. However, some of the blocks weighed up to 80 tons. On site, the blocks may have been raised with ramps and levers, but ultimately, all we have are theories, and scholars continue to debate the details to this day. This is an amazing amount of accuracy for a structure this big, this long ago. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications.
Number 1. Stonehenge Ancient monuments don't get much more famous than Stonehenge, or more mysterious. Who built it? How was it built? And why? Found in the middle of England's Salisbury Plain, Stonehenge is instantly recognizable with its circle of standing stones and curious beams. And this collection of rocks continues to stump archaeologists. The date of construction is relatively unknown, with the 1,000-year leeway between 3000 and 2000 BCE proving quite expansive. Its true purpose is unknown. Stonehenge itself was extensively excavated during the 20th century. Those digs established that the monument was built in stages. The ancient culture who built it is unknown, and the method of construction is, you guessed it, unknown. Basically, Stonehenge is met with a giant shrug and the nicely worded academic equivalent of, I don't know. Around 2500 BC, Stonehenge became a monument like no other, a symbol of everything the Stone Age could achieve. Do you have some answers? Let us know in the comments below. Common belief was an origin amongst the stars. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.